We're back with another video here. This was from the World Championships, Nogi Worlds, back in December. Here we go. I know this guy's going to pull guard. I've seen him fight. I've fought him before a couple times. And I'm trying to time his guard pull and take him down before he pulls guard. But he does a good job at pulling. I'm, I start off really aggressive trying to pass. I'm trying to stay below his knees on that double underpass, but he does a good job at hipping out. Once he's able to free his knee, he can recover guard. So we get a reset here. This guy was really tall. He had really long legs and really long arms. So I wanted to kind of pressure pass and stay real tight with him. Right off the bat in this match, he gets me in some danger here. I see him reaching over for that Kimura and I just let him grab, put me in a Kimura, which was horrible on my part. He's trying to throw that left leg over and into my armpit. I'm trying to prevent that because this guy is really strong and I felt a lot of pressure on my arm here. So all I'm trying to do is keep my elbow or keep my wrist to my stomach so he can't get the hyperextension of my shoulder. And I don't want to extend my arm either because then he has an armbar attack there as well. So here I'm just trying to keep my arm as tight as possible to my body. And uh, he actually had a pretty good attempt here. I spaz out and get out of that. He locks, he breaks the Kimura grip and I'm able to get out. So now I'm like, oh, hell no. He got me in a close attack, time to turn up. So I get into my aggressive passing style right off the bat. Boom, side to side. I set up my over under pass. Boom, back step that right leg. And I get my pass right away. So I guess he kind of woke me up. He goes for a buggy choke here. That's not gonna happen on me. I keep that right elbow flared so he can't get a tight, so he can't get it tight with that left leg. Here I'm just trying to cook the chicken for a second, just stay heavy on him and look to get my knee on belly. Boom, I put my knee on his belly, he bumps me off and he enters into 50-50. I get an advantage for that knee on belly. And just keep in mind, guys, this is a purple belt tournament. So 50-50 is like a kind of kind of a weird position because there's no heel hooks allowed. If this was a Nogi tournament for brown belt and up, we would definitely be in a little more danger here. And there would definitely be some more action here in 50-50. So he puts me into 50-50 because he knows I'm a good passer and he wants me to kind of keep me at bay here. He's trying to like yank on my foot, but I pull his elbow up and put the boot on. If you're standing on your foot, it's very hard for him to foot lock it. So I'm just gonna put my foot into the mat and almost stand up on that leg. He has a really easy sweep if he opens up his hips and sweeps me to the left. So I'm trying to be cautious of that now and kind of keep my base to my left. Um, so he doesn't sweep me to his left, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of just surfing, I'm up 3-0. Keep in mind guys, this is the open class world finals. So I'm very cautious here and I don't wanna give up my three point lead, get swept and be on bottom. So I'm a top player, I'm just kind of surfing. Eventually I wanna try to open up this 50-50 and pass his guard again. But for now, I kind of just have to feel out the position and kind of let him fatigue himself as he's yanking on a foot that foot lock that isn't there. So he, see right here, he could try to sweep me to, my, to his left. As you see what he's trying to go for, I do a good job at defending it. I underhook that leg and here I should probably look to try to pass if I pass to my left. I clear that leg out and I'm gonna look to shove that leg through and pass. He does a good job at framing and getting his legs back in front of me. I try to control his ankles. He kind of does the spaz out with the feet to not allow me to control his ankles. I work my outside passing. I try to go folding pass here. He does a good job at keeping me at bay with the butterflies, but then I go over under. He goes for the Kimura. I hit the Kimura counter arm bar. Boom, and I finish on the far side. So if you go for a Kimura when you don't have the guard, you put yourself in danger to this counter where I step over with my left leg and then my right leg becomes the, f the leg over his face. And you can finish the arm bar here. I know this move because Hustle is, my professor has been finishing me this for the last, finishing me with this for the last five years. 
So I get the arm bar finish here with the sweet Kimura counter to the far side arm bar. I am filming a breakdown that's on my Instagram. By the time this video is out, the Instagram video will be up if you guys want to check it out. My Instagram is imdown.com and you'll have the 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 um the breakdown of that kimura armbar okay thank you guys for watching i do have my new sweaters out super thick super comfortable check them out at imdown.com